legislation has happened, like the Congress that passed Obamacare, then getting wiped out in the midterms, and then ending Don't Ask, Don't Tell on their way out in the lame duck. Well, now tonight on The Readout, we're launching a new segment to document what lame duck Trump and his Republican lemmings are doing on their way out the door. And because you know nothing good is going to come of that, we're calling it What the Duck? A hallmark of the Trump presidency has been the absolute silence of Republicans as Trump took a blowtorch to norms, decency, and democracy. They had no problem with his foul language. They're pursuing an illegal, invalid, and unconstitutional <laughs> impeachment. We first went through Russia, Russia, Russia. It was all it was made up. It was made up just like the Russia, Russia, Russia was made up. This is the craziest thing done by AOC plus three, who knows nothing about the environment. She doesn't know. She's got a great line of You didn't hear them object much when he hurled racist, misogynistic, and anti-American labels at Democrats. This monster that was on stage with uh, Mike Pence, who destroyed her last night, by the way. How about Omar of Minnesota? He's telling us how to run our country. How did you do where you came from? How is your country doing? The do-nothing Democrats have betrayed our country. The radical Democrats want to destroy America as we know it. And you definitely didn't hear them say much of anything when he would lob insults their way. Now we have this guy, Sass, you know, wants to make a statement. Little Ben. Little Ben Sass. I mean, one of the problems with Ted Cruz is everybody hates him. I mean, he's such a nasty guy. I could have said, Mitt, drop to your knees. He would have dropped to his knees. A little. L-I-D-D-L-E. Little. Little. Little Marco. You know, we, we have to, you have to brand people a certain way when they're your opponents. You know, and these little Republicans haven't exactly been profiles in courage or really said much at all until after Trump lost. Well, as the sun sets on Trump's virulent and vulgarian presidency, burl clutching Republicans are suddenly finding their voices. Is it that Trump caged babies? Oh, no, no, no. Is it that he's lied to us about the coronavirus? No. Is it that millions are hungry and on the brink of homelessness? Nope. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.